Hey, hi! Hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is great to be back here with you again showing off a game that I previously demoed and really had a wonderful time with. The mortals cast you down here. You are mine, pagan says the ultimate evil fiend of hell. Folks, this is a game called Against Great Darkness. And what we have here is a roguelite brick breaker style game that takes place in the circles of hell of all places, right? Uh, look, you know, it's it's haunting and everything, right? But um, we can still have a good time out here, it, it turns out. I'm going to heal because we took that one hit. Replace what you have lost. Yes, let's do that. So what we're trying to do is bounce the disc back and forth. And get it to the point where we've got discs flying around doing damage. And we've got our ongoing attack uh, with the arrows doing damage so that we can clear these screens. Uh, you can see the progress that we're making off to the right side there with the map. And we're going to try to climb all the way to the top and deal with Satan's nasty commanders, right? I guess, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. A dog named Baron. The dog barks. Are you a Viking? I've always wanted to meet a Viking here. Take this. All right. Do we pet the dog? I think anytime petting the dog is an option, you got to pet the dog. Let's let's do it. The dog wags its tail and barks. I knew you were a Viking. Here, take this. So we've got the bone. A bone as hard as stone. On disc spawn, 35% chance to gang 100% dodge for two seconds. Hey, I like it. Let's do it. So folks, this is coming out into early access on April 10th. That is right around the corner. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I like the game. I love the art style. I think it plays well. It's challenging. I think there's opportunities to build interesting combinations of capabilities. So we're going to have a run today. We're going to have a good time. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. The other thing I'm excited about is that this video that you are watching right now, this one, it happens to be rated G. Now we're going to look at this event. Oh no, the banker. A greedy demon goblin sits before you counting coins. He holds out his hand. Care to invest? So if we invest, we lose all moats, but we're going to get an old money box, double earned moats of light until you lose or spend any. I mean, that you know, we only have 78, right? What could go wrong? Let's do it. Let's get weird with it. So this video is rated G for giveaway. Yes, folks, it's true. We like giving away games on this channel. And so that's what we're going to do, damn it. We're going to give away a copy of the game. And all you need to do to be eligible to get in on the giveaway is to be subscribed and leave a comment. Comment on anything. Comment on how much better you are than I am at Brick Breaker Games as I lose my ball again. We're, we're firing off the clear that time. Um, I believe those clears are on a recharge. They clear the screen for us and then they send the disc back up. Uh, let's go with the light. Okay, so that's gonna double that in theory and it did, wonderful. Okay, oops. Man, sometimes they move pretty fast here. All right, now I think that there's a good chance that I'm going to be 
playing quite a bit of against Great Darkness because I, I think it's a lot of fun. And so there's probably going to be numerous chances to uh, get in on a giveaway. Keep your eyes peeled. And I'm going to ask that you do me a favor. If you like what you see here, let's help out this independent developer. I'm going to say more about uh, the dev later on. Because I really liked what he said in his bio page. We'll get into that. Uh, but the wish listing helps more than you know on Steam. I mean, we all know that Steam is just this infinite deluge of awesome games, right? And that can make uh, that can make it tough for the work of these devs to stand out and, and be noticed. And so wish lists can go a long way, especially leading up to. Uh, this game becoming available. All right, so we were able to dodge that first one, probably because our ability triggered. Whoa, man. All right, we are down to one health. We really got to play it cool here. This guy's going to cruise on down. I mentioned that uh, this is a roguelite. I think we got to check out this shrine. I don't know what this does. A shrine with a statue of a disc, a heart, and a shield stands before you. Make an offering. Offer 75 modes, gain one max HP. So I think that would help, especially if we get a heart right now. Plus, I think we took good advantage of the uh, the bank doubler. Let's do that. Okay. And that's great because it, it gave us the additional heart instead of just an empty container. You know, you never know. You never know what you're going to get. All right, so we've got the guys that like to cruise down again. We just got to watch out for that dude. Okay. Okay. I'd say that this is going rather well overall so far, right? Could be worse. You've seen the GOAT play games before, right? Could be worse. Now, apparently there are three different biomes across... Whoa, whoa. Represented by the different uh, circles of hell. So that's exciting. All right, we're going to send that one back up. Oh, so the clears do come back pretty fast. I should be using those more frequently, turns out. All right, well, we've got confirmation of that. Ooh, that was nice. All right, I think... I think we need to heal again. Replace what you have lost. Oh wow, full HP. That's pretty generous. Is anybody getting Space Invader-ish vibes a little bit? I'm, I'm feeling that. Ooh, that was nice. Hit him from the back. That was a really nice volley. All right, I feel like... Oh! I was going to say, I feel like we're on a roll here as I get hit three times in a row. All right. I can't take a sip right now, but I'll say cheers to you anyways. I'm... Actually, out here with an iced coffee table. Well, now I can take a sip. Cheers to you out there. Oh, man. Very refreshing. I think I'm going to hit the store and see what's on offer here. Oh, look at this. We can heal. Wow, full health again. 
So we've got 185, eye for an eye, on damage received, gain 300% damage boost for 5 seconds. The Horn of Plenty, on wave start, gain a new disc. Or Rig Cell, a pearl left in the ashes of Masters, fire damage kills have a 55% chance to cause an explosion, which deals 8 explosive damage. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Cornucopia. And I kind of like this one, too. All right, let's just do both. Why not? Okay. Keep rocking and rolling here, right? Send that one back up. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I hit them, but it, it sends them downward, which is not the direction we're hoping for. But, you know, thankfully, we've got this helpful bow as well. And that is firing automatically, by the way. All right, let's grab that one. Dog gone. So here's the deal. I think the clear things that I was talking about, I was looking at the wrong icon. I was looking at the one in the bottom that's currently showing that we have two discs in play. Uh, the clears are more the shield looking things off to the right, I believe. And I would imagine those recharge at the end of each wave. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're going to go event because we've only got 56 motes. Crucifixion. You come across a field of crucifixes and notice an individual still nailed to a cross. I have spent an eternity here. I was a thief in life and have never gained forgiveness. Alleviate his pain it would give us the crown of thorns, the crown of the sacrifice. On taking damage, deal 50 weapon damage to all enemies. Wow, that sounds okay. Let's do it. Oh, we have reached a boss, haven't we? All right. Yeah, keep... Oh, didn't know that was going to happen. Man, there goes my disc. Wow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh! Game over. All right. I had a good time, though. That's what counts. And we got some crystals. This is the stuff that gets used towards meta progression. And then we open up some stuff as well. Used to build the first temple, cutting stone, iron, and diamond on fastball hit. Cause an explosion that deals five explosive damage. Right. Okay. Let's try another run. Let's visit the upgrade area. So I've got 283 I played a handful of times prior, and we've got some nice options in here. Uh, the one that I've been looking at is the decrease to gravity of the discs. I think that's really interesting. And then we've got various other upgrades. Uh, you know, slight increase to damage bonus, getting an extra heart at the start. Uh, you know, some good stuff. So let's see, this is 850 for that one. Some of them are a little bit pricey and I think we're still priced out. I'm willing to hold out for this gravity upgrade. Let's go in, let's, uh, let's try another one as Artemis. And don't worry, we'll be playing a little bit here and there. 
trying out the different characters. It's going to be fun. Maybe we'll make a series out of it. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you want a series out of Against Great Darkness. I guess I would have to come with the promise of the goat playing a little bit better, right? W wouldn't we have to do that? Although, this is going well so far. I, I think you would agree. A female demon kneels crying before you. In life, I had nowhere to turn to feed my family. Is this the eternity I deserve? I have no need for this heart of mine. Oh. Well, thank you. Succubus. This time, I'm going to try to remember to use my clears more often in order to save the discs more frequently. Wow. That's the fastball they're talking about. Okay, gang light or the store. I think we're just going to go motes of light. Ah, only 25. We need the piggy bank again. All right. You know, I have to tell you, I got an email the other day, you know, the, the type of spam that comes across. Thankfully, I don't get too much spam to the uh, email address that's tied to the channel. But I got one that startled me for a second. Wheel of Alteration. You stumble upon a demon dressed as a ringleader. It's time to spin. You're ready, aren't you? You sure are. I, I, okay. All right, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Hey, that looks good. The demon's grin fades. Lucky you. Indeed. Indeed lucky us. I I like it. So this email starts out and says, Hey, uh, you know, we, we've got we've got bad news for you. This is the YouTube team writing you to let you know that your channel has been shut down because you've violated so many terms of service and blah, blah, etc. You know, and I'm thinking what and they got me for a second you know but then you look at who it's from and you just go oh jeez you know come on guys another scam attempt you know there's a guy on YouTube that puts the scammers uh, in in bad situations you know like he'll access the the camera of the call center hub that they're calling from and it's tremendous it's tremendous i i like seeing things turned upside down on them a mysterious cube lays before you energy swirls around it turning white then black upon inspection a small fragment of it is loose take a piece of the cube the last piece to the first prayer spawns two ever-present stationary paddles that guard the edges to oblivion that sounds great Let's do it. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. So we've got bumpers now. I love that. That is really something. Very necessary for, for the goat sport. Oh, look at that. It's already paying off. Oh, that's a game changer. Folks, where we're going, we don't need roads. I, I suppose we have wings, so we, we don't need roads because wings. Um, but, but you know what I'm saying, right? Okay, I am super excited about all this. I'm hoping we get the 75 if I go with this. We got plenty of time to go to a store again. Hey, I'm good with 45 too. Puts us at almost 200. So the next time there's an opportunity to go to the store, uh, we'll we'll take advantage of that. That sounds okay to me. We're gonna go ahead and fire that off.
I'll tell you what else I'm excited about. I've been talking about this throughout the week. I am playing some Diablo 4 tonight as a necromancer. Very, very excited. First time ever. I'll let you know how it goes next time. All right. Let's hit the store. A plate to reward politeness. Passive increase of six luck. I mean, I don't know everything that luck governs yet, but it's cheap. King's Shamir used to build the first temple, cutting stone, iron, and diamond on that fastball hit. Cause an explosion that does five explosive damage. Yes, sold. A belt that grants thunder power. Disc damage is increased by each disc hit by one until a disc is lost. All right, can't afford it. Let's go with that. And I'm, I'm good with the pickups here. Good stuff. So now we just got to see a fastball or two. Get some explosion damage going. Oh, I, I wonder if that would have been a fastball. All right, we got to be weary of the guy that likes to jump down at us. Easy to lose track of these guys. Hey, that was an explosion. That was neat. Whoop. Okay, very cool. Uh, I am leaning towards an event. A pile of curious... Oh, curios lays before you in the rubble. They each look intriguing, but only one catches your eye. So we've got prayer beads, simple prayer beads, 12% chance per juggle to spawn a new disc. That's amazing. Demon blood swirls on four juggles, gang 300% attack speed for two seconds. I like the 12% chance of a new disc. That sounds pretty great. All right. Oh, nice. Used it right in time to prevent the damage. That was cool. Couldn't save that disc that time. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so we're seeing some extra discs at this point. That's pretty cool. Wow, that was very close. We gotta take that big nasty out. Perfect. All right, let's hit the store one last time now. Or maybe this isn't the last time. Maybe we got one more area and then the boss. A bauble made of bitumen, passive increase to one luck and one dodge. Tribal mask to summon vengeance, passive increase of 10% damage boost. A pearl left in the ashes of masters, fire damage kills have a 61% chance to cause an explosion, which deals eight explosive damage. I don't know that I have the capability to do fire damage kills yet. So... I think I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna take a heal and we'll call it a day on that one. All right. We don't have any of the leaping dudes in the back yet. I am gonna use that. You know, sometimes you just can't get to the disc because there's a projectile behind it or close enough to it. There we go. Let's get that one popping around. Send this out there.
Yeah, this game is just really easy to settle into, you know? It's relaxing in that way. Not a ton to consider. Avoid the balls. Keep yours going. You know, the nasty balls. That's what I mean. Oh, tried to get all three of them. Okay, so technically we have one more store, but with the fact that we've only got the 44, I think we'll just go with moats and I don't know. We'll just take a bet on ourselves that, that we're going to get through it this time. Old Delilah, right? Delilah, not, not as delightful as the name would make you sound, you know? Oh, man. All right, there I go again. I've got to watch out for these guys. Dropping down. Darn it. All right. Got to leverage my clears when I need them. Trapped in that corner. Ah, there comes the heart. Folks, let's see what we can do from a meta progression standpoint. Maybe we can collect a boost to help us out with the gravity piece a little bit. The final stone, last piece to the first prayer, spawns two of her. Oh, those were really great. I, I really liked that one. Okay. Let's do a decrease right there. That's exciting. Folks, this is a game called Against Great Darkness. This is coming out into early access on April 10th. That's right around the corner. If you like what you saw, do me a favor and go out and wishlist this. We'll also be giving away a copy. And in order to be eligible for that, be subscribed, leave a comment. We're probably going to give away more copies of this game. I really like it. I want to support this dev. And I want to read you something from... Uh, the developer's bio page. Uh, this is Derek Kalita. I've been tinkering with game development for the last seven years. I've always had a passion for games and found myself making prototype after prototype. I had always dreamed about releasing one. Hit Reg Studios is a company I founded to pursue that dream. I wanted to show my kids that no matter who you are or what age you are, it is not too late to follow them. That really resonates with me. Starting YouTube later on and getting to where we've gotten to with this community in a period of four years time. I mean, all of you are just tremendous supporting this, but it really, really resonates me with me. Uh, it's never too late. Get out there. Try. Make an attempt. Just go do it. Just go do it. You've seen that video. Get out there and do it, right? Shia, you've seen it. You know. Um, hey, thanks so much for the support. If you liked what you saw, do me a favor. Uh, throw a like on this video. And if you're new here, please don't be new here anymore. Hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell. I don't know what the hell that thing does. One way to find out. Uh, and let's do this again sometime. We'll get together out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where we will play a roguelike or roguelite because that's what we do every time. And you know what? We will give away a video game at least once a week. And we can do that because of you and your support. You're helping power this thing. Thank you for that. We'll see you again soon. Take care.